morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Racine and Me. I'm Megan Rystead. This morning on Racine and Me, we're talking about a pumpkin farm and so much more. We're checking in with staff at Swan's Pumpkin Farm for a tour and bringing together beer and bacon to support downtown Racine businesses. But first this morning, the Reef Point Brew House is a destination this time of year for live music, food and fun. This morning, we are catching up with Patty Landerman and Megan Bennett from Reef Point Brew House about what's going on this fall. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. So why don't you go ahead and first of all, just tell us a little bit about Reef Point Brew House. What should people know? Well, we are located in the heart of Racine, right in the Reef Point Marina. So we are up on a second level overlooking the marina. So in the summertime, beautiful views, lots of people, destination point for out of town plus locals. Um, we also have a beautiful restaurant that we smoke all of our meats in in house um, we provide uh, we also have a banquet room and we have what really is beautiful during the summer and even now is our outside dining and bar area it's heated it's enclosed um, during the summer we can open up the sides and the roof so it offers a really great venue for people to get together um, have some fun we have live music fridays saturdays um, all year round Nice. Um, Megan? Very nice. Yeah, I think you covered it. Um, music every Friday, Saturday, 7.30 p.m. it starts. Um, we have a new uh, cocktail and beer menu coming out soon. New drink specials. Try to stay relevant. Um, yeah, yeah, gearing up for fall, we have like a salted caramel martini, um, a pumpkin pie, white Russian. White Russian. Oh Just gosh. some really fun drinks that have really taken off. Um, we have margarita flights that are still going strong. Um, cool. People can try four different margaritas all at the same time on a flight. Um, we also have our hangover flight, which features Bloody Mary, a spotted cow, a mimosa, and a screwdriver. That is really taking off Sunday mornings when we have our breakfast, um, which starts at 8 a.m. till noon. Okay. Every Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're making me hungry this morning talking about all those <laughs> good eats. Let's talk about how Reef Point Brew House, how did it come to be? You said it's been around for about eight years now? Right. We opened it up just um, with the vision that we wanted to become a local destination point because of where it's located. Um, not only we're a part of a great local downtown community, but we'd like to, we have people that come from all over the world, not just to see Reef Point Brew House, but because you know, we're located in a destination area right in a marina. We have people that bring their boats up all the way from Florida. Uh, we have the deepest marina around. Mm -hmm. So our marina hosts about 900 boats, wow. um, brings in people from all over. So it's, it's a lot of fun um, meeting everybody from all over. But we have been in the restaurant business for about 20 some years. But this one really kind of sparked our interest because of where it is. Sure. And we just wanted to grow it and help build the community. And I think we've done a good job with doing that so far, working and um, collaborating with other businesses in our area to oh, make Racine a real destination point. We've got not only our area, but we've got North Beach, which has hit the top 10 beaches in the whole country. Oh. We've also got a, a local zoo, which is beautiful. A couple art museums right downtown. A lot of great shops and galleries downtown right on Main Street, which is just within walking distance from the restaurant and the marina. Um, it, there's just so much to do all the time. Great. And one of those things to do that is actually, I mean, there's very few safe live music venues right now across our area, and you're one of them. So let's talk about how you guys are making sure that people stay safe, but you're also still offering some of those fun, fun things, too. Yeah, so we're able to host our um, live music outside on our heated patio. Um, we just had new heaters installed too to try to make it so we can use it year round, um, keep it warm. It allows, you know, for the social distancing out there. Um, it has its own private bar out there as well. We just kind of made it its own area, kind of a fun, different atmosphere out there. Um, yeah, we have a Halloween event coming up on October 31st, live music by Groove Line. Just kind of doing some drink specials. We'll uh, decorate out there. Um, costume contest as well. Just trying to find something that people can do while, you know, staying safe. Right. And I know that this has been a really tough time on a lot of restaurants um, across the country, across the world right now. So how are you guys doing? Are you, are you still able to see customers? And it sounds like you're making big steps to keep everyone safe. 
we've had to make a lot of, you know, re regulations and, and changes to our place. Um, you know, spacing out the tables, our staff has all qualified so everybody's qualified and knows the importance of you know the sanitation efforts and you know wearing our masks and things like that um, social distancing um, all of our staff is safe serve certified as right. well um, okay. that means they took a course that you know teaches them about the different rules and regulations um, yeah we're really trying to stay ahead of the game trying to just you know introduce new things as well to keep us relevant um, special menus now we have fried chicken wednesdays pizza on thursdays and then we're also doing tomahawks all weekend long too which is a big nice. 28 ounce steak oh that sounds pretty good right now well yeah. thank you both so much for joining us this morning it sounds like reef point brew house has a lot of fun and delicious food and drink specials too so thank you so much for joining well, thanks us. thanks for having yeah, us we you. appreciate it thank you Thank you. And still yep. ahead this morning, we are visiting Caledonia for a trip to Swan's Pumpkin Farm. Stick around, the fun is just getting started. Well, welcome to Caledonia and welcome to Swan's Pumpkin Farm. I'm here with Farmer Ken and you are the owner. I am. Thank you so much for letting us come check this out today. It is fun. It looks like so much fun here. Well, families have been coming here for generations, so uh, it is a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. Weather permitting, uh, some things yes. when, it, when it's raining like yesterday, <laughs> not quite so much. But. Yeah, and now you have been the owner of this farm for 40 years. You've been inviting uh, people here. Yep, we've been pumpkin farming for over 40 years. Okay, yeah, so tell me a little bit about how this all got started. I know you said your wife was a school teacher and that's sort of what started it all, right? Yep, so when I graduated from college, um, I farmed with my dad for a few years in partnership. Okay. And then uh, my wife, uh, is a kinder or was a kindergarten teacher now retired at uh, Raymond School on the other side of the eye and uh, she decided to bring her class out <laughs> and uh, do, yeah. a, do a pumpkin visit or a field trip yeah. and uh, so that's how it all started so then we started uh, we decided we could market field trips first year I was like the tour guide and we had maybe 300 kids show up then we had two tour guides and we had three and last year we probably had about 18 tour guides and over 10,000 kids visit us each year. Wow. So uh, amazing. And that's uh, word of mouth advertising. That's really great. Uh, kids go home, they're all happy, excited about coming to the farm, and then they come back and visit us with their families. Or... Okay. And no, this is a farm. We've got some animals here. Yeah. Tell me who we've got here. So this is RJ. He's Aww. a red jersey. <laughs> And he's this is beautiful. his second second year here at the farm, and he's part of the petting zoo. Aww. But uh, with COVID-19, we've been uh, feeding the animals with ice cream cones okay. and with animal feed inside. So they're used to eating <laughs> it, and he'll just lick that right out of your oh, hand. Oh, my gosh. And then if you'd like, Give you can just try. feed him the whole cone, and he'll just take that. Oh, and, just give him the whole ice cream yeah, cone? Yeah, let him have that, and here he'll chomp that right oh down. <laughs> is that good? I think that's a yes. <laughs> Can I pet him? Sure. Yeah, he likes the... Uh, right here? Yeah, he Aww. likes the forehead and behind up in here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Pretty cool. What else can you summarize for us as far as what you guys have going on here? Well, so we have uh, lots of folks come here for our farm adventures. Okay. So our hay rides, our pedal carts, our barrel train, our cornfield trail, and our new this year, our... Uh, pumpkin jump pad which we'll visit uh, in a little while okay so uh, and then on weekends uh, those are those five adventures are open uh, we have those operating seven days a week um, and then on weekends we have our ponies here for pony rides and our uh, bumper boat ride which is uh, the second season here being here as well so okay. uh, weekends only for those but uh, otherwise and of course, thousands of pumpkins to pick from. Our guests were going out into the into the field. We have 40 acres of pumpkins in the back here, and uh, we closed that uh, prior to this last weekend. It's pretty well picked out now. Uh, we harvest pumpkins from uh, for uh, our our own, ourselves here at the farm and for some of the wholesale customers that we service as well. So. Um, Pumpkin, the pumpkin crop is excellent this year. The size is great. Good. They're, they're holding up well. The handles are well. Good. Um, so we're happy 
you don't always get that every year. Right, right. All right, well, when so, we come back in just a few minutes, okay. we'll check back in more on uh, your COVID, how you guys have had to change things with COVID situation. And then you mentioned a pumpkin jump pad. Very excited to show you that. It is really cool looking. I'm excited to give it a try too. All right. <laughs> And Swan's Pumpkin Farm is really is not hosting school tours right now for the 2020 season because of COVID-19, but staff say hopefully they can resume for the 2021 pumpkin season. Next on Racine and Me, it's time for our community calendar. We'll fill you in on the events in Racine County. That's next. Welcome back. This morning we have Carrie Grieving from Real Racine with us. She's here to fill us in on what we should know for this weekend in Racine County. Good morning, Carrie. How are you? Good morning, Megan. I'm good. Thank you. Good to see you. So the first event that you're talking to us about this morning is the Candy Crawl. Yes. Um, so the DRC is putting on the Candy Crawl and it actually started um, a week uh, last weekend and it continues on October 24th, 25th and then October 31st, actual Halloween. Um, kids are encouraged to dress up in costume and then hit the 25 or so local businesses in the downtown area that are um, handing out candy. Awesome. And it sounds like they're spreading out the weekends so that they can keep people safe, kind of try to keep those crowd numbers down for COVID concerns. Is that correct? Yes. Typically, this is um, just a one day event and it's very busy down there. There's kids everywhere. There's costumes. It's really Halloweeny and fun. But, you know, this year we've had to adapt and DRC has done a great job in taking a lot of their typical events and making them a lot safer. Yeah. OK. Yeah. And then a second here, let's talk about the wine at the Racine Zoo. Yeah, Hella Wine and the Racine Zoo. It is a, a wine tasting event and um, it happens Friday, October 30th from 6 to 9 p.m. Tickets are $40. And the most important thing that everyone needs to know is that you cannot get in at the gates. They are not selling any tickets. You must pre register um, and be counted again because they need to keep, you know, a good cap on the quantity of people who will be attending. So um, you can go on their website and get your tickets. And then for that $40, you get wine tasting or d'oeuvres, um, an animal ambassador encounter, which is awesome. And then a free sampling glass um, for the wine, Fine. obviously. Okay. Um, oh, just a couple other things too, is it's a 21 and up event. I always wanna make sure that's very clear. Uh, you can't bring your kids to this one. And then um, most importantly, all the proceeds raised go to benefit the animals at the Racine Zoo um, and their zoo programming, all the things that make them a real important part of our community. Okay, awesome. And with this event too, it sounds like it'll be for the most part outside, so it's a COVID friendly. Yes, and it is rain or shine, so okay. <laughs> get ready to party even in the rain. Do people dress up for that event? Um, you know, I have heard that, yes, it's certainly not a requirement, but um, there has been some pretty creative costumes in the past. I'm sure. Okay. And yeah, the zoo is always doing fun stuff this time of year. They're doing fun stuff all the time, it seems like. But this is a cool event. I mean, fun for adults. You know, parents can go out and have some fun, too. Right. And I mean, it's only, you know, 6 to 9 p.m. It's not a, like three hours is a great uh, time period. You're not feeling like you have to stay for a very long time. It's it's a good amount and a lot of, I can never stress this enough that those who like to go to the zoo events are a really fun bunch of people. So whether it's just you and, you know, like a significant other or friends or whatever, you will meet other people and have a really good time. Oh, that's awesome. So a good way to mm -hmm. make some friends and then hang yeah. out and enjoy time with your current friends too. Good. Yes. Well, anything else that you can add about either the candy crawl or Halloween event that people should know? Uh, I don't think so. I think that that's it. Both are pretty self-explanatory. If you ever have any questions, I would go to the DRC, Downtown Racine Corps uh, website, and also the Racine Zoo website if you're looking for more information. Perfect. Okay, Carrie, thank you so much for joining us this morning, sharing both about the Candy Crawl and the Halloween event. We really appreciate it. Anytime. Thanks, Megan. Thank you. If beer and bacon sound like a tasty combo to you, you'll want to listen in on this next interview. This new event is in downtown Racine and it pairs local breweries with local restaurants. It's a way to have some fun with your friends while also supporting small businesses. And Kelly Cruz is the executive director for downtown Racine Corporation and she joins us this morning to share more about the event that is set for November 7th. Hey, good morning, Kelly. Good morning, how are you? Doing well, thanks for asking. Great. Uh, we appreciate you being here this morning. You guys are always, you always have something cooking. <laughs> this time we've got bacon cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so tell yes. us about it. 
Yeah, we're really excited. So this is a brand new event and we are pairing local um, breweries, Southeastern Wisconsin beers with um, bacon infused bites. So we, and those are also all catered locally. So um, 20 different locations that you would stop at on this walking tour outside. Um, and then you go inside to, to, to have your beer sample and your, your different bacon item. Um, so just a really fun event. You really get to explore all of downtown the locations include everything from bars to restaurants, but also to retail shops, which is really fun. So exploring downtown, trying some really delicious bacon items. We've got things like bacon wrapped bangers, um, beer and bacon deviled eggs, uh, cupcakes with maple frosting and bacon bits. We've got chicken and bacon street tacos. I mean, the list goes on and on. These are all catered by the Ivanhoe, the Red Onion and Main Street Bakery. So really supporting local, um, just, it's gonna be a blast. Yeah, I see here, dark chocolate covered bacon. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that I sounds know. amazing. And then bacon hash brown fritters. Mm. Could it get any better than that? That sounds amazing. <laughs> well, it can get better because you're pairing it with different local beers. So yes. we've got everything, um, you know, from um, Oktoberfest to lagers to, to all of the above, but we're using, um, Local breweries, such as our Racing Brewing Company, which is right uh, in downtown Racine, they're actually creating five different brews for us. And we got Publix out of Kenosha, and of course we've got, you know, Lakefront, River West, and Kings and Convicts. So just a, a lot of great beers to just try out and see if you like them. Mm -hmm. Who came up with all these ideas? You know, especially for the foods. These are creative ideas. Like who thought I, of this? I know. So the Red Onion and the Ivanhoe, I have to give them okay. a lot of fun. They, I told them to run with it and what they came back with was just phenomenal. Yeah, they're the masterminds of the bacon world. That's right. And now this is a new event this year. It is. Yeah, okay. Brand new. How did you decide to start something new in the year 2020? Uh, well, actually it was supposed to be April 9th. Ah. And so obviously that didn't work. So we moved it back to November 7th. Um, we just lowered the amount of tickets that we're selling. And um, it's over also a longer period of time so that people aren't feeling rushed and they'll be outside more and shopping at other um, retail stores while they're doing it. So it's, you know, it's from one to six. So they have plenty of time, um, less crowding, mm -hmm. smaller crowd sizes. You know, a lot of it is outdoors walking from, from place to place. So we're trying to make it a safe event as yeah. well as fun. And it's rain or shine? That's right. Okay, and tickets are $30. They are, and they're available um, on Eventbrite or RacineDowntown.com. Perfect. And then where does that money go? You know, people think, oh, this sounds like such a fun event, but a lot of times they like to give back or help support local businesses as well. So where will that money be used? Yeah, so actually um, at the Downtown Racine Corporation, we are a nonprofit whose 100% mission is to um, the economic vitality of our downtown. So all of the proceeds will come right back to the downtown or scene corporation so we can put more and more time and energy into more events and, and more fun activities to make sure that downtown is vibrant and we get people down here. Okay, and this has been a hard time for businesses, restaurants, uh, pretty much everybody, I would say for 2020. So why come out and support your area businesses, your downtown uh, Racine businesses right now? Uh, we have such a beautiful downtown right on the lake. We have the best retail stores. We have a foodie destination, foods from every type of international cuisine, um, great bars. I'm telling you, if we don't support these businesses, they will not be here next year. So um, get out there, shop, enjoy downtown. If you don't feel comfortable, all of them have um, roadside pickups. So you can shop on their website, call them up, and they'll bring it right out to your car. So they're, they're really working with everybody to make this um, to make this downtown survive. Right, right. Kind of working with everyone's comfort level too. Nice to have that option where you yeah. can just drive right up, place your order and go. So that's yep. a good option. Yep. And that's with retail stores as well. So oh, great. not yeah. just for food. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. See, I'm glad that you pointed that out because people maybe didn't know that. So thank yeah. you. All right, ladies night. We're excited about this. Let's talk about you got a little a little preview for us. You'll be on again in a few weeks to give us the full scoop on that. But just give us a preview. Yes. So on Friday, November 20th, we are having our second annual ladies night out in downtown Racine. And this is just a night for girls to kick back, get their girlfriends, have fun. We've got over 10 locations that are going to be buy one, get one free drinks all night long. Um, we've got over 30 retail shops that are doing all sorts of great specials, everything from 
free lotion samples to get your ring cleaned for free or um, gelato samples. Um, obviously lots of specials. They're gonna treat you like queens. It's just a really fun day. And on top of that, we'll have some VIP tickets available and I'll go into more of that next week. Okay, what more do you need to hear? Treated like queens, it sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was so much fun last year. I mean, people were just laughing and walking down the streets. And again, everything will be in compliance. We want Good. this to be safe. And, um, but we also just want people to, you know, to get out if they feel comfortable getting out. Mm -hmm. Have that kind of community, but in a safe way. Yeah. Uh, and just remind us one more time, the date of that event and then the times. That'll be Saturday, November 20th um, okay. from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Okay, and then Kelly, like I said, we'll have you on again in a few weeks. So if you're looking for more information on that, Kelly will be back in just a few weeks to share a little bit more about Ladies Night Out for the second annual, you said? That's correct. Okay, looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Kelly. Always good to see you. We appreciate right. it. Okay, bye-bye. And after the break, we're checking back in at Swan's Pumpkin Farm to find out how staff have made adjustments during the pandemic. And we're back here in Caledonia at Swan's Pumpkin Farm. I'm back with Farmer Ken again. Thanks for being here. You're welcome. So let's talk about uh, COVID-19 and how that has changed things here at the farm. First, you've mentioned that it's actually been really busy. This seems to be a good option for people right now. It does. Uh, it's been uh, exceedingly uh, busy and uh, that's a, a good for us. Unfortunately, sure. some businesses um, you know, aren't, aren't so lucky, but uh, we're uh, seasonal and uh, I make my whole living in about six weeks out of the year. So um, I guess we're fortunate in that regard that folks want to come and visit us here at the farm. So uh, COVID-19 uh, has presented a few problems. We did some, uh, a lot of brainstorming uh, mm -hmm. type of stuff to figure out how we could handle it and how, what, uh, what would work and what might not work. So. Folks that have been here for coming for years will know uh, uh, some, uh, that we always had a small intense maze over here. We didn't build that this year because of COVID-19, but we do have a cornfield maze in a five acre okay. cornfield. Um, not as intense, uh, but it's still uh, an experience. Okay. Um, uh, our uh, hay rides, traditionally we always sat right in the straw in the hay ride. And this year um, we built benches uh, on all the wagons so that we can actually disinfect those uh, after every ride and um, we can actually social distance uh, on the wagons and uh, we even have a built-in an option where you could rent the entire wagon for your family or neighborhood group or whoever you came to the farm with if you'd like. That's a great option. So uh, and then in addition we, we brought in this jumpkin, <laughs> pumpkin jump pad. I actually bought this before COVID came along and it works out well. The, the children love it, and uh, we can disinfect it periodically. <laughs> and with our staff, uh, we check uh, temperatures when they check in. Our staff all wears masks. Okay. And then we ask our guests to wear ma masks um, and to uh, social distance best they can. Um, we have a large footprint here, so it's easy to spread out and. Uh, and we added a, a, a website store so oh. you can actually buy pumpkins or caramel apples or our apple cider donuts on, on site Wonderful. and come and pick them up curbside and you don't even have to enter the farm ground. So It sounds like you're really making an effort and doing what you can so people still feel safe well, here you, at Swans. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for explaining all of this to us. We really appreciate it. And Swan's Pumpkin Farm is open 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Thursday, and then 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. And that concludes Racine and me for this morning. I'm Megan Reisted. We certainly thank you so much for joining us. Now, don't forget, if you have an idea for a future episode of Racine and me, let me know. You can reach out on Facebook or you can send me an email and all the information is right there on your screen. We thank you so much for joining us this morning. We encourage you to be right back here next week for Racine and me.